three, two, one, ignition. I'm Philip. I'm one of the propulsion engineers here, and I started as an intern back in 2021. The first time I got in touch with rockets was at Kennedy Space Center when I was nine, I think. And then later on, when I studied in California, I could see a Falcon 9 launching in the twilight, and it was something that got me really interested in rocketry and propulsion especially. The special thing for me about Team Propulsion is that it's a bunch of like-minded nerds, and I can just talk to them about rockets all day which is something I never had before. Obviously, most of the development engineers are here in Augsburg, but we have test sites in Sweden and in Saxofort. Myself, I was in Saxofort for four months preparing the first stage for first flight. So it was very rewarding going from Excel spreadsheet to a complete engine and a complete stage and seeing it hot fire for the first time. RFA has always been very brave with key decisions. One of those decisions was employing the stage combustion cycle as a young startup. The Helix engine uses oxidizer-rich stage combustion, which is very unique in the sense that it combusts all the oxygen with a little bit of the fuel. Those hot gases then drive the turbo pump, and after the gases went through the turbine, they're combusted in the combustion chamber with the rest of the fuel. It is extremely efficient because we use all the energy of the propellant and convert it to kinetic energy. RFA is the only company in the EU with stage combustion technology, which gives us a unique technological advantage over other companies because it provides very high performance for our vehicle and increases our payload to orbit. On top of that, 3D printing gives us a lot of flexibility in design. So we actually print all of the combustion chamber in-house. Um, we have the unique advantage of having multiple alloys that we print in-house. Some of these alloys are oxygen ignition resistant, so they're very well suited for the stage combustion cycle. And that allows for very creative and cost-effective solutions. My favorite part of my work is that it's on the border of what is possible in physics, and you're always pushing for that last 1%. It's never a dull day. What's that? Oh, just a bit of rocket fuel. <laughs>